What's up guys, Austin Numi here today coming at you with yet another Adobe Premiere CC 2017 tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about a couple of presets that I made called the RGB Split. They're free, I've already linked them below so you can download them and try them out yourself. I'm going to show you a couple of really quick ways to use them and different ways in which you can apply them. Before we begin, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, make sure to subscribe with post notifications on. Alright, so I'm here inside Adobe Premiere Pro. I've got my footage that I'm ready to perform the RGB Split on. This is my friend Lua and she's going to help demonstrate how this effect is applied. So what I'm going to do with this clip here is I'm going to duplicate this, actually more like triplicate this. So I'm going to bring three different channels of it. So I'm just going to simply highlight this, hold down alt and drag up and one more time. So we have three different clips. Now you'll go over to your presets that you downloaded. And if you still need to import them into Premiere, you just go to presets, right click and you'll see import presets. And then you just kind of pick out the file that you downloaded. Now I've got my presets here already loaded in. So what I'm going to do is simply just drag these to where they tell you to go. So the bottom blue is going to go obviously on the bottom, middle is going to go in the middle, and then top for the red. So now we've successfully split this clip into three channels. So all we have to do is just kind of apply whatever effect we'd like. There's a couple different ways I like to go about it. So I'll go ahead and show you a couple of those. Uh, what I could do is start from the beginning here and go over one frame using the right arrow key. I'm going to drag the second clip one frame over. Actually, let's go two frames over just to give a really cool effect. And then I'm going to go one, two more frames and drag this bottom clip over. Now make sure to extend these out so that you're not going to have a weird weird channel separation in the beginning. And then also at the end, you'll see that these are not the same size. We'll just simply extend those out. So now you'll see that that gives us a really nice kind of RGB echo effect. So every time she moves, it's more pronounced. There's a couple ways to do this. So I'm going to show you the other way in which I would do an RGB split. Okay, I've set my clip back to the original separation. And now what I would want to do for this is just go to the top layer and I can change up some positions or scales. In this case, I'm going to change the scale. I'm going to do red at 105 and I'm going to do the bottom blue at 102 and then green will fall in the middle somewhere. And then that's gonna give you the RGB separation throughout the whole clip. This is something you can use maybe for a VHS effect. Like I said before, if you wanted to kind of reposition some of these that you've scaled up, like my red here, I could kind of reposition that to go back even further for a more stylized look. I do encourage you to go download these free presets on my Selfie store. You can find it in the link below. Also, I've got a current sale running right now, so go ahead and check out some of my LUT packs if you are interested in grabbing some new lookup tables. So if these presets are going to be helpful to you, make sure to leave a like on this video and comment and let me know what you're going to be using it for. I'd love to see your work. Make sure to connect with me on Instagram at Austin Makes Films. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.